Why isn't it playing? There we go. All right, this is a task created by Tampa of my Kaizo ROM hack called Mini Kaizo Bros 3. And he already got the first thing. And it's done. <laughs> and he finished the first level. So this hack was inspired by Grand Prix World 2, um, but also wanted to, wanted to really capture the feature Oh my god. I really wanted to capture the feature of doing small levels. They're very short levels. They're difficult, and they progressively get harder, but they're very short. So, when you get to a hard part, you know that the level's done very close. Like, like you're close to being done. No, this is 100%. Nope, this is 100% run. What? I made this- I made this entire ROM hack, except for the mini boss. That was a joint thing. Uh, Tampa made that the tool assisted run. I made the hack. Yeah, he made the he made the run. Yo, okay, so there's a really cool trick here that I did not think to use. Is this hard to do, Tampa? This makes this whole part way less stressful. It almost looks like it doesn't work though. And like, are you stuck there? Do you need the block to bounce you up? Wow. Yo, got that one. Welcome back. 11 months. What? Yep, that's the good speedrun strat. You stop them there and you can use this cloud. Very nice. Very nice. All right, I wanted the frame. Oh, come on. What is going on with the background? Is that because you like glitched it? Boom, right in there. Off screen wand grab, very nice. No, that's awesome, man, the, the wall climbing. The wall climbing is pretty pog there. Yeah, the background was mad at you for doing so well. Very nice. There's a lot in this level that stops you from doing what he just did, but... Have no fear. What? Oh my god, you did it out of the water? Yep, I'm playing this whole time. Wow, look at how tight that was. Nice, avoided all those Kaizos. Wow, avoided that Kaizo, that's crazy. Oh my god, that's insane. Very nice. Oh, he found the secret exit! Okay. <laughs> and everything's dead. Okay, the fortress. <laughs> you made it look so easy. But it's so hard.
Very nice. And he's in there. Very nice. Is that really faster right there than the shell jump? I wonder. Oh, you avoided the Kaizo. Wow. I really like that. That is a little time save there. That is definitely a little time save there. I know, the only reason he was able to get off screen one grab is because the flat ground had a boss that actually jumped in the air. And he was able to utilize that height where um, most, the, where both of the flat ground battles in Mario 3, the, the Koopa Kid doesn't jump. Well, Wendy does jump, but you gotta get three of her rings out and by then it's already a waste of time. By then it's already a waste of time. Oh wow, what? Okay, that had to have been pretty difficult for RTA. What? Oh my god. Souped up the boat. There's there's a few things here that the speedrunners could take from this. Oh yeah. I bet that fall in the first level's faster. Very nice. Be -de -de -be -de -de I, I really like the tasks here. Also, this is a good opportunity to, to let everyone know. Oh my God, really? That's ridiculous. Uh, this is a good opportunity to let everyone know that I'm currently working on an update for this game. I will be updating this game, um, and I've, I've currently started on it. I, I will be updating this game. This level has such a massive satisfying feeling. Okay, so there's there's something that not a lot of people notice is that the way I designed this and developed it with a couple other people is that the amount of coins you have will determine how lucky you get in this mushroom house. And I tell you that with little hints and tricks. So if you have a low coin count, you're gonna get a poison mushroom rather than a hammer from this chest. Uh, don't worry, there's a place in this world where you can farm for coins. It just takes a little bit of time, so you have to carefully watch your coin count while playing this game. That's a little bit of spoils there for Narf Man, but it's okay. A little bit of spoils. Just watch that coin count. This is ridiculous, Tompa. That is insane! That is so crazy! Yeah, I don't see an RTA player doing that. Tompa, how did you feel about the free off-screen wand grab? Did it feel nice? That free off-screen wand grab? So, one of, one of the updates that I'm getting is I'm completely... Well, I actually don't want to spoil anything, so I'm not going to say anything. For a task, it doesn't matter, but it's a Dito. Yeah, so you're missing a lot of the messages, and normally for your first time playing through, you're gonna wanna read them. Mm. 
Very nice. I think he did a turn back there to let the Goomba... Oh, shit. We're not, we're, yeah, top is too strong. Yeah, see, unlike Nintendo, I made all the mushroom houses accessible. I think. Or I put a couple that you can't, but yeah. Nice try, Nintendo. So these are two sand traps. Uh, this is 100%, so top is gonna play them both. Oh, but did you try and grab that shell and kill the th kill the sun with it? That'd be amazing. Oh, very nice. Yeah, the P speed under. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Wow, very nice. Uh, so 42,000 frames. How fat? How how far into the run? Like how much time is that so far? Tapa made it look very easy, but that boss is not easy. He made that boss look very easy. What? Look at this. <laughs> you had to clip the block to get in there. Do you need to have P-Speed to get that? That's insane. That's insane. That menuing too. All right, this is my custom Goomba shoe. This is my custom Goomba shoe. I love that so much. What? Wow. Wow. I love the Goomba shoe level. Yeah, turbo shoe. That's it's designed that way. Tapa's not impressed with this half Mario Maker level. Wow, dude, the midair onto the platform? What is that? What is that, dude? The midair onto the flat runway, so he doesn't have to do any kind of turn backs. Tompa, how badly did you want to do some, like, P-Switch stomp tech in here, but you can't. No, Mario 3 is not designed to allow you to keep the Goomba shoe. Of course, Tompa doesn't need it. Of course. How did you get out of- How did you get out of there? How did you get out of that one tile? What? You love the task, not the ROM hack? That's not very nice. Nice. There was another Kaizo there for you to use, but Tompa didn't want to. Nice, yo, get all the coins.
Yeah, that's DuckTales. I've seen this strategy before, yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Remember, remember, when I make levels, I keep the format of mini Kaizo, right? So the levels are supposed to be short and have like maybe two difficult tricks in them. Maybe. Most of the time they have one difficult trick. But that's the way the level's designed, right? That's the way it's all designed. It's mini Kaizo. Kizo, K -k Kaizos, the Kizos. All right, more more mini. So these are like mini mini sand traps. Very easy, very easy. Dun dun dun, da 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 da. This one I like. I like this one because Tompa just cheesed it. I like it. That's definitely doable. And that would be much faster. I made this ROM hack, that's right. Nice! Uh, in the update, I'm not actually- well, I don't want to spoil anything. Oh my god, Tompa. Really what? Tompa, you were in there too. That was funny. You were you clicked, but you were like, nope, I'm out. Oh, this is really cool too. Oh, that's so cool. What? Oh my god. This is insane right here. This was supposed to be done as small Mario. Oh my god, and that last jump wasn't a duck jump either. What? <laughs> I made the death sound. Oh my goodness. Yo, world eight, here we come. Nice, so this level's like a trial of all the tricks that you've done along the way, but... Yeah, Tom doesn't care. He doesn't care about trials. That level already has a cheese in it for RTA as well. A good uh, speedrun strat for that level RTA. Oh my god, what? The duck jump? The fact that he still has his fire flower is ridiculous. And doesn't that look like I intentionally put that there? I didn't. That's just whatever. You're never gonna get up there unless you're a tasser. So that's crazy. More sand traps. He was definitely inside that turtle shell. Let's talk about how fast he puts in the code at the end. All right, so everyone does a five room fortress. I decided to go for, I think, nine rooms. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Oh, hold on, there's a five, then there's six. That's insane, I really like that. Six, seven. Eight, yeah, so I do a nine room fortress. Oh my god, Tompa, that's so insane, dude. <laughs> Very nice. What? How'd you put in the code so fast? Okay, so this is another part, right? When fighting Bowser, the more coins you have, the more damage you do to Bowser. And that's what makes this battle difficult. 
All right, so Toppa had 88 coins. Look at the coin count. It was, see how the coin count's going down? Right, the coin count decreases as you fight Bowser, so your power is going down. So yeah, so Bowser has like an interesting thing to it, which is really cool. Oh, right on, guys. That's a very, how long is that? 73,431 frames. How fast is this? I'm pretty sure the RTA run can get down to like something crazy fast. Yeah, how fast is... That was an amazing hat. Like, that's so good. 21 minutes, yeah, right? And the world record for RTA is like 40 minutes for 100%, 40 something. So it's definitely beatable if you guys are interested. Yeah, yeah, put it up on YouTube. Yeah, if you guys are definitely interested, the world record is still kind of free. It's got a lot of deaths in it. Yeah, man, there's like another five minutes easy. So if you guys want to take a, a record from Haxer, boom, there it is. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys.